Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amora Love and today I'm going to be jazzing up my little small box braids that my sister did. My sister has a YouTube channel and she will be posting more often, but she did my braids and I flew all the way to Vegas just to get my hair done and I chose some ombre hair and today I'm going to be jazzing them up. But yes, this is my hair for now. <laughs> I'm going to be doing all kinds of things to these braids. Today, I'm going to be putting on charms and then beads and then we're curling them and then we're crinkling them and we're cutting them. So <laughs> I'm going to see how many things I can do with these braids. And for today, I'm going to jazz them up with the handy dandy, trusty dusty filigree tubes and some other charms that I got from Amazon. I will leave these linked below. They are absolutely amazing. These things right here are from Amazon. It comes to you in two days and it also comes with all of these. There's these and smaller beads and a filigree too. But I'll show you guys that a closer look when we actually get started. For now, please excuse my absence. I'm sorry. <laughs> I should just shut up actually. <laughs> So I'm gonna start by doing these first. I don't really know which placement I wanna do, but I do know that I wanna cut these um, just like that. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like that would be like nice because all the crinkles and stuff that I wanna do is gonna be like really cool. But do you guys like my mini box braids? I was too afraid to go big, big. I normally like super small singles, but trying to be different so here I am with braids <laughs> let's get started so these kind of look like this like a little crown and you basically just open them up and close them clamped around your braid basically <laughs> opens up really easily I do have a tutorial on my page where I did it more in depth with my little sister <laughs> so if y'all want to watch that you definitely can but you basically just clamp it on like so and if your braids too small they're very adjustable to where you can like you know do it yourself you see I put my little crown upside down but that's one all done <laughs> So now I'm just gonna do a bunch more. Oh, this one actually has a bunch of really cool ones. Wow, that already looks so cute. And it's just one. Um, here comes my cat. Mind you, it's two o'clock in the morning. <laughs> She's in heat as well, so there's that. Oh, wow, that one just looks so cute. Should I just leave it like that? <laughs> okay, look, there's these, which look like little, um, ringy rings i thought it would be a little bit easier to adjust them but it's not so we might have to miss those but there's also these which are really cool like can i can't even hold it with these dang nails okay so so yeah there's these and i think you could even like stretch them like a what's some things called a slinky but i just don't know how <laughs> wait okay so hi boo boo what are you doing? Wanna come do a tutorial with me? Come here. <sighs> she always has to make her little debut. Okay, so this, can I just stretch it down until it tightens around my braid? Oh, that's awkward. Let me see. Um, I don't know how I like that one. <laughs> I'm taking that out. Ew, okay, I had so much hope. I guess I'm just gonna be doing the basic, basic filigree tubes because <laughs> I've been trying to get myself to film this all day and it's 2 a.m. So I've been slowly but surely getting ready <laughs> and I started getting discouraged and I'm just like, I'm just gonna turn the camera on and press record. However it look up in here, I'm just gonna press record i'm sorry but like what should i match them i'm gonna match them okay so that one is this hey what are you doing okay should i put it upside down as well i guess i will okay so that is here okay that's cute that's cute that's cute that's cute that's cute okay 
now we're gonna do more. I have better videos coming for now. I'm just jazzing up my braids at 2 a.m. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, so this I'm gonna put more down. Whoops, I didn't open it enough. I don't know what that was on, but boom. Let's do another one on this side. Diagonal. Okay, now I'm gonna do some on the other side, same exact way, doing diagonal backs. That's really cute though already, and I've only done three. Four, my bad. <laughs> right here. <gasps> Whoops. I didn't open it all the way. Cute. Where'd that one go? <gasps> my memory card full? Oh, hell no. Okay, so I guess I gotta come back. Like I was saying, my memory card is full, but I was able to delete some stuff. I put some diagonal like that. And then I thought I put one down here. Oh, there we go. I guess it needs to be more on the outside. Let me take that off. So, just to have it more on the outside. Okay. Okay. Then, just to have some in the back, I'm going to do that as well. But I really like the simpleness of just a few. I'm going to take my viewing screen and put it over here so I can see. But, for the back, And another one. I really thought I was gonna be able to use more of these, but I don't really know how to use them and I ain't finna try to figure it out because like I said, it's two o'clock in the morning, girl. But I just need to film something for the sake of it because I keep thinking about it. I can't stop thinking about it. Don't stop working for it. That's just a few for now. Now I really want to cut them because the crinkles I want to do and the curls I want to do, I want it to just be straight across, especially when I put the beads for cutting. I'm gonna use my shears. Ooh, should I use a razor comb? I'm gonna use a razor comb. Mm, should I? Let's see how it goes. <laughs> first things first, let's get everything in a line. I'm thinking low because my hair is really long now. <laughs> if this is your first video of seeing of me, then go see my hair journey. It's kind of crazy how long my hair has gotten. Oh yeah, let's use a razor comb. I'm just gonna keep my hand right here. I ain't moving nothing. I'm just gonna keep going up and down. Well, not up and down. I'm going in a downward motion for the scrapes. Ooh, I'm getting a hand cramp. Okay, I might have to cut that because this braid taking my shears let's see now for this side does that look bad <laughs> okay let me see <laughs> let me look at the back cut my hair <laughs> that would be not good <laughs> I know it's not even but I can have somebody help me with that another day I just want to make sure that's not my hair so <laughs> that's basically it um, just super basic very minimal because we're doing beads. So come back for 
That was boring. Should I just do it in here? That wasn't nothing. It's 2 a.m. <laughs> All right, um, should I dip them? I guess I could crinkle them now because I don't have the tool for the beads. So I, I <laughs> the beads should go before the crinkles though, right? Because how are you gonna have beads and crinkles, right? <gasps> I could do the flexi rod curls right now. Like put around flexi rods and then just like, all right, let me go get the flexi rods and boil some water. I'll be right back. I got these. These are flexi rods because it's a rod and flexes. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this and a few. I'm gonna do it like this so I can get the ends all the way. I don't know how I'm gonna dip them. I'm just gonna dip it in like that. I feel like it would be easier to braid, but it's also gonna take longer to braid too, so there's that. Oh, it's cause I gotta bend it this way, right? This is how it's looking so far. Now I'm gonna come back when we're done. So I'm finishing up the last couple pieces and the water has also finished boiling. So that's actually perfect timing. I'll put it in one of those little water boiler kettles that you plug in. So one more. I'm still contemplating how and which way I'm gonna dip this. I might have to put the thing on the table because Girl, that's gonna be hot. And I had to roll them tight so I could get a halfway curl. So it's gonna be, the steam is gonna be real close <laughs> to my foggy, my scalp. All right, let me go get the water. Oh, I used two packs and I have four left, so. just in case for whatever reason you wanna do this too. That's what I'm gonna use. And I have the water here. I don't know how I'm gonna dip it. I'm gonna have to use a glass. Hopefully it don't crack. That's way too much water. Can y'all see what I got going on? That really just came out. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm gonna basically have to dip this into this glass, <laughs> but y'all can't see. Let me see. You see this glass? <laughs> and the water boiler. <laughs> I'm gonna burn myself, I already know, okay. And the water's gonna overfill cause I filled it up too much, but I'm not pouring it back, so. I'm just gonna willy nilly dip this and see what happens. So that's basically how I'm gonna do it. And then when I take it down, it's gonna be curled. You don't have to wait for it to dry or nothing. You can literally just take it right on out and then it's gonna be curled. So. <laughs> I'm gonna look crazy for a second, but yeah. This is really hard doing it by myself because I can't see nothing. And this glass is small. I really cannot see. I'm trying not to burn myself. Get you some longer flexi rods if you can. So I got that side all done. <laughs> now I'm gonna do this side. Now we can see what it look like. Okay, let's do the back. Imagine it don't come out right and I just wasted my time. <laughs> curls. Bootleg curls. What curls? Let's see how it looks all together. That was a little lackluster. <laughs> I'm used to doing this with the foam rollers, not necessarily flexi rods. But as long as my ends are curled, that's all that matters. Okay. 
Okay, we are done. Granted, it's definitely still gonna be dripping wet, but my ends are curled. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Something felt weird. Okay. Bro. Okay. Now. My ends are curled. I wonder if I could do it all as one big giant curl. <laughs> Let me see looks in the back. So what do y'all think? You like it better like this? Or do you like it better straight? Granted, it's still wet and it's still gonna fall, but we have some type of texture. Let me see. I want to try it crinkled. I feel like crinkled is just more me. So, boom, hands curled. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to decide if I like it or not. <laughs> Let me see. I'm over here trying to scrunch it up. Like it's gonna get any more girl than what the hell I just did. It's very wet, so there's that. Okay, let me know what you think in the comments. Does it look better, more straight or better curled? If you like it with the charms, if you like it without the charms, let your girl know in the comments below. I'll be back. Because next time, um, I'm going to, what's it called? What do I want to do? Oh. <laughs> I'm going to buy the little piece for the beads tomorrow. And then, actually, I'm trying to see what order to do this in. Because I feel like I want to do them all. So maybe I'll wear this for a day while I do the beads. Then the day before I do the beads. <laughs> Maybe I could do the crinkles, but the only thing about that is I know I'm gonna wanna wear the crinkles the most, and I'm not necessarily gonna want the beads. But why would you do all the work for the beads just to take it off to wear it crinkled? And I don't think crinkled is gonna look right with beads. So I'm just trying to make it make sense. That's basically it. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. Um, that's what it is. It's all done. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I'll come back to you guys in the morning. Um, I might want to redo it. I might not. But for now, this is what it looks like. Just a little bit more oomph at the bottom so it doesn't just like go in, you know? It's just like, it's, it keeps the same. You know? You know what I mean? Like, it keeps the same. <laughs> like, before when it was straight, it was like, it was wide and then it got really skinny. This is like keeps the same weight throughout the whole because of the curls giving the illusion of more fullness, even though it's not more full, you know, because we did the pre stretched hair. So, yes, I like the curled, I like the curled, but y'all just wait till y'all see the crinkled. The crinkled is where it's at, especially. Well, anyway, nonetheless, I hope you guys all enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I will be back to do beads and crinkles. So make sure you're subscribed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.